11 new electric vehicle charging stations will soon go up across all the islands. The state's been granted more than $2 million to move forward with this electric vehicle infrastructure plan. And as KITV4 Shanila Kabir reports, many believe this will make the biggest impact on one of Hawaii's clean energy goals. I'm outside of a free EV charging station in downtown Honolulu. Many of the EV drivers I spoke to today said these machines need to be better maintained in addition to adding new ones. Only one of these two machines is working, which added to the longer lines. There are a ton of free chargers, but half of them are broken at any given moment. Even now, this one is broken, so only one of the two fast chargers here is working. Um, so there's just like, uh, they're highly in demand, so even if I have to pay for it, it's still I'm only paying like five, maybe $10 a week at most. The Department of Transportation and the state's energy office are working on where to locate the charging stations. Some EV drivers say where is crucial because many don't live and work near EV friendly infrastructure. Every gas station should at least have one electric charging station and also the malls should have way more charging stations. Like Ala Moana only has like four. Maybe every hospital parking lot should have, every movie theater. Each new station will have four charging ports with a total of 600 kilowatts of charging capacity. They will all be available 24-7. A lot of areas where people who buy electric vehicles also have PV. There's other areas where people who have EVs um, that live in multi-dwelling um, multi units don't even have the opportunity to charge at home. So we'd be taking all of that into consideration to ensure that we put those charging places, uh, charging stations in the right areas. These 11 charging stations will not provide free charging. Officials said the goal is not to make money, but to make these prices appealing to residents who've yet to make the switch. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News.